hey good morning and welcome back to another video and welcome to another little mini travel series this weekend we're off to Kiln Park in Tembe now I really need to concentrate on that word because Gethin's forever telling me that I pronounced the park name wrong so if I do pronounce it wrong in the vlogs that is why <laughs> but we're going for a couple of nights for my mother-in-law's birthday so I'm just waiting for the boys to get ready and as soon as they're ready we're gonna make a move <music> Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, there's a big bang up your vehicle, so they've been checked in. Uh, you're going to number 7 Gilted Court, your caravan's ready, so you see your blue seal on your caravan door and your keys and welcome back outside the caravan, waiting for you. Number seven, Gilta Court. Let me go find it. This is a little bit like deja vu. Last year when we went to Key West, we got into the van and realized after five minutes that wasn't the van we were meant to be in. They had give us a Sabre van instead of a bronze. Now this time, we've just got to our van. We think it's the right van, but it looks like someone's in it. So we're just gonna go back to reception and see what's going on. That's where we went, yeah. But yeah. there's no tape on the door. There's no keys. We couldn't get in, I think. <laughs> Still none the wiser. They have no clue what's going on. We have no clue what's going on. But someone's going to meet us now by the van to see what has happened. Only us. Every single time. This always happens to us. That's your details, yeah? Uh, Pritchard, Sarah, yeah. this is me, yeah. Okay. So right. there's wrong, yeah. If you come back to reception, okay. um, I'll get somebody to go over there now and try and establish who they're with. Right, let's see who's in our van. Hello? Alright. Oh, hi. No, we're not. Number seven, I've been. Hello, you're right. Yeah, number seven, Rocky Park. Number seven, Rocky Park, you're in. Okay, so this is Gilter Court. Rocky Park, South. Make yourself a home! <laughs> Honestly, you can't even write this. So I opened the door to the caravan to be greeted by two complete strangers. I think they were in as much of a shock that I was. It's nice. Oh, should we have a look? Right, I'll explain everything in just a second. No, it is nice. Honestly, you can't even write this. We went to the caravan. I opened the door to be greeted by two complete strangers after being told that there was no one in it. To say they were shocked was an understatement, but to cut a whole long story short, they went in the wrong caravan. So we've had to switch vans. And to be honest, this van is exactly the same in a nicer place and our car can just pull up alongside the van. So all is good. So first off, I'm gonna do a quick caravan tour. So this is a silver. As soon as you come in, you've got a dining table. Carter's made himself comfortable. A wraparound sofa and a TV. We do have a balcony, but I don't know what the weather's going to be like and I don't know whether we'll get to use it. Then a kitchen. We've got an oven. A kettle and microwave. And then let me go see how many bedrooms we've got because I have no clue. We did book two. Oh, that was heavy. Oh, all the cleaning stuff. I keep making our way down. Is this a bedroom? No. Nope. Our shower room. Oh, here's one of the bedrooms. Oh, they're in a different layout. So one single bed down that way, one this way, and the master bedroom. Actually, I'm shocked how big this room is. A vanity area and a big double bed. The question is, is the bed comfortable? Because normally I can feel every spring in these beds. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. And I've just noticed another room. Oh, another toilet. Right, I'm too scared to unpack in case we get told to move. No, <laughs> oh, making yourself useful, are you? <laughs> Don't throw my food. You're not doing I'm coming to help now. Oh, honestly, what a palaver. I think I've bought enough food for us to move in here for a week. <laughs> it 
it's a bit ridiculous to be honest i did pick up some asda's pizza there is a papa john's here on site but what was this two for ten and i think it's like 20 pound a pizza in papa john's let's try and work out this balcony shall we <laughs> finally figured out the door we've ended up in rocky park south we got the better end of the bargain we're in a nice little quiet cul-de-sac and our car we can park it right by the van better start unpacking everything and getting everything organized oh my gosh how did i walk past a gift i didn't even know we had a dishwasher same your normal dishwasher oh Yay! shut up <laughs> i haven't even looked in here recycling I can't believe I walked straight past the dishwasher. Anything else? Washing machine. <laughs> Pots and pans. Oh, do you remember these last time I couldn't work them out? The child lock. Oh, they got everything we need. Perfect, right, I'm starving. Let's put these pizzas in the oven, shall we? When you check into the van, you get your key to the van and also all your park passes. Now we've been told that these are in someone else's name, but it's gonna be okay. You've got a map for the park, which is great because this park is massive. What's this one? Oh, it tells you what's happening, I think. Oh, who's gonna be on and where. And then this is the what's on during the time that we're here. I think that's everything. gonna make our way over to the clubhouse I can't really remember this place we haven't been here for years I'm just gonna get all my stuff together I've got so much I'm taking here lip gloss sunglasses batteries purse right ready to go Is. the caravan is actually swaying it's quite windy outside but I've just called back to the caravan now I'm definitely showing my age I've had to get two paracetamols my head is thumping I'm gonna blame it on not drinking enough water but the truth is I'm getting too old and it's the music is too loud So this morning has been a complete chill out we had breakfast in the van the sun is shining so i actually took my cup of tea out on the balcony which was lovely we haven't seen sunshine for a very long time then we went swimming and again the pool is great here they got a slide they've got a hot tub they've got these big huge taps that has water coming out of it then i come back to the van and got ready but to rewind from last night i didn't finish the vlog only because we spent hours and i mean hours in the clubhouse we have friends and family here and i think we didn't get in till about one o'clock this morning we never use entertainment in these caravan sites it's just something we never do but i gotta be honest credit where credit's due the entertainment last night was amazing they had a whitney houston tribute act then they did bingo and a music quiz and then they had a disco till about half past 12 this morning so we spent hours and hours in that clubhouse but now we are just going to have some pizza left over from yesterday i am making sure that i'm eating today and i'm going to drink a lot of water after the headache i had yesterday but first off carter and i are going to take a walk over to the chip shop and we're going to go get some chips to have with our pizza because there's one just here by the entertainment center quick carter quick shut the door quick because he's looking to come in 
Uh oh, don't take our towel. <laughs> I thought he was going to nick our towels. Can you imagine he started flying away with our swimming stuff? How perfect is our location? Caravan, entertainment centre and chip shop. Chip shop, entertainment centre, caravan. I wonder if these chips taste anything like the one by the other Haven site. Could we get one lump of chips please? Yeah, anything else. That's all thanks. Four ninety nine. Yeah, Thank you. Can you smell the vinegar from your mind? What are they like? A nine. Oh, okay. Good as the ones in the chip shop in yeah. Key West? Oh really? Oh wow, Carla. They're so good. Wow, they are really good. Now you're not gonna believe this because every time I do a Haven vlog, I'm always having chips from the chip shop, but I hate chip shop chips. Never eat them at home ever. But in Key West, there's a chip shop and honestly, they do the best chips. I went and got some chips to go with our pizza now, so I thought I'd try them. They're so good. They are really, really good. But five pounds worth of good though. Remember mm. in um, the other one, those cheesy chips? They do cheesy chips in there. You could have had the large, pay an extra pound and they would have put cheese on it. But guess what? I got cheese in the fridge, we don't need to pay a pound. <laughs> it's so nice to see the sun. We honestly, we haven't seen the sun in weeks. So we're going to make the most of it and we're going to head down to the beach. Here on site there's like a little pathway that takes you down. Can't really remember where that is but we're going to find it. But I do remember though, the beach isn't as close as the Key West one. The Key West one, you can walk straight down. This one, I think you've got to walk five or ten minutes to the beach. Ready? We've got our chairs. We've got a bit of a picnic. Let's just hope it doesn't rain now. Oh, have you got your cricket set, Carter? Carter last night bought a cricket set with his money. Yeah. Oh, they got an outdoor pool. I was going to say the pool's not here, but I forgot they got an outdoor pool. Yeah, it's not outdoor pool weather today, but... This site is quite big. You can get lost very easy if you've got directions like me. That is not my strong point. I get lost everywhere. I'm surprised you haven't clocked the balls yet. Oh, and they got surfboards, bodyboards. One good thing, if you forget anything, they've got a mini mart here and they sell everything. Right, I'd better keep up with these guys because honestly, this park is so big and my sense of directions are horrific. And I get lost very easily. Wait for me, I don't want to get lost. Oh, there's the entrance to the beach. That's one thing I miss about Key West. You literally just walk straight to the beach within two minutes. This one, gonna take about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and the hills are like this. <laughs> literally passing fields upon fields upon fields. Yes. I hope so. Huh? I hope so. No. You don't know what's coming down. I got you hypnotized. Take a real close look now. I'm going to show you how. I'm about to get down. So keep it up right now. So keep it up. We have just walked all the way around onto the beach just be told that there's a path to the beach from our campsite i am not impressed i'm just seeing now where this is from because we have just walked miles should we actually take the way that you're meant to go that takes 15 minutes off your walking time yeah <laughs> i'm not going that way again oh that was quite close huh that was quite close we walked all that way coming in. I know exactly where we are now. We came over the bridge and we turned left. You're meant to go right to the beach. So when you come through the sign from the park that says to the beach, go over the little bridge and turn right, not left. And then it's exactly the same distance as the Key West Beach. <laughs> Don't laugh, Kevin. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking? You know, for dinner tonight, we got the disposable barbecues. Shall we go over to the shop, go get some stuff to put on the barbecue, and I'll make a big portion of the pasta salad you love? Yeah. Do you want some of that? 
I've just been sitting here wondering what to make for dinner. But we have got the disposable barbecues, so there's no point wasting them. And then they love pasta salad. Only because we were going to go to the clubhouse, but I haven't heard any good reviews coming back from there. Everyone's been paying a fortune and the food has not been that good. So I didn't want to waste 50 quid for food that has not been recommended. So I'm going to... Do you want to come over for me, with me? Oh, I bet I can find him by all the footballs and stuff. Ah... Uh, I said, I bet you buy all the balls in that. What did you find? Oh, that's where you bought your cricket set. Yeah. Mayonnaise, sweet corn, and tomatoes. Any meats for a barbecue? What they got? Just burgers, is it? Oh, we could have burgers, can we? Burgers and pasta, is it? We literally came in the sunshine. What happened in the five minutes we were in the shop? I think I jinxed it with the barbecue. Do you know what? I think this is the first time I've sat down properly all day. We got up, we went swimming, we came back here. I did sit down to have a bit of lunch. Then we went back out to the beach, walked 500 miles, played cricket, rounders. Then we came back, I made food, went to the shop, came back, and then we went to the clubhouse. And it is now quarter past 10. So I'm going to sit here and watch some TV and I ain't moving. So I'm going to finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see day two of our Kiln Park holiday, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>